Hello, how's it going guys? Thank you for watching. For this video, we're going to do a taste test on five different Quest protein bar flavors. I wanted to do all five of them at the same time so that way I can kind of compare them to each other. The flavors that I have right here is chocolate chip cookie dough, blueberry muffin, cookies and cream, oatmeal chocolate chip, and s'mores. So we're going to go through these flavors one by one. In fact, you know what, so I don't get confused, I'm going to put them in the same order that I just mentioned them. Okay. And these are going to help me out and we'll see. Obviously these are sweet and I'll go through the nutritional facts before I get to the tasting. Some might have a little bit more protein than others or a little bit more carbs than others, but they're pretty much the same. If you're familiar with the Quest company, you see that on my uh, taste test, I've actually done protein chips and also the uh, cookies that they have. I'll put a link down on the description. All right, so let's start with the chocolate chip cookie dough. All right, so nutritional facts. One bar is one serving, 60 grams, 200 calories. Nine grams of those are fat, 21 grams of carbs, 14 of which are fiber, and three erythritol, so that's 14 plus three, 17. So four net carbs, does it say on here? Yeah, four net carbs, and it has 21 grams of protein. <coughs> Salud. Salud. Now it's interesting that out of the twenty, oh hey, it's interesting that the serving size of sixty gram only really has one gram of sugar and three grams of erythritol. So the I don't expect it to be really sweet, which is a good thing. I'm not big into super sweet foods. Uh, we'll see what they think. So let's get into this. Better the smell is kind of sweet actually. It does smell like a typical protein bar. No Nothing really stands out. The chocolate is, smell is not that strong. The texture is kind of uh, tough, but uh, elastic. I don't know what the word is, but the chocolate is breaking apart. So see how the chocolate is just kind of falling apart right there? So you can tell the difference, no tokens. You can tell the difference between the chocolate and the actual bar. The bar is really, Almost caramelish looking. In fact, the color is also like caramel. Thank you. Ooh. Mm. That was delicious. Mm. The chocolate seems kind of dry, obviously, because it's falling apart. The protein bar is a little sweet. It almost has like a, like a gum flavor. It doesn't taste so much like chocolate chip uh, cookie dough. It's not a terrible taste, but I don't think it's Tastes like cookie dough. Delicious. Te gustó? Lisa liked it. Too? too sweet. It is a little too sweet. If a seven year old is addicted to sugar, it's telling you it's too sweet. It's too sweet. No, this is all the chocolate right here. I like sugar, but too, this one's too sweet. It's funny how she, uh, she is, speaks like <laughs> that she's talking to somebody that doesn't understand that. Yeah? That one's okay. You like that chocolate? I think the biggest problem with that one is the chocolate is really dry. I kind of wanted it to be creamy. It's sticky. sticky. Yeah. The protein bar is a little bit sticky. I assume most of them are going to be like this. Okay, so let us uh, clean our palate. Oh. I give that one about, I say a three out of five. I give it a zero out of one. All right, so the next flavor is the blueberry muffin. This one right here, pretty much the same number, seven grams of fat, 22 grams of carbs, 15 of which are fiber. This one has two grams of sugar and two grams of erythritol mm. and 21 grams of protein. The texture took, looks the same. Ooh, I, immediately I smell the blueberries, so that's actual genuine blueberry smell. I wanna smell something. You can see the blueberry. Oh, there's some white thing in there. I don't know if it's supposed to be uh, white chocolate. Calmate, por favor. Ay, so Risa is doing something with her hair. I don't know what's going on. Uh, so yes, I was saying, there looks like it has some uh, white chocolate around here and something that looks like bread. But I don't know what it is. So Risa says she just wants a little piece. But the texture is the same as the last one. And it really has a strong blueberry smell. That's a good flavor though. Whatever that white thing is, has a nice flavor. Sweet, it's almost like cream. Nope. No te gustó? No. Por qué no? 
Rhea says she doesn't like blueberry muffins, but she's lying because she likes blueberries. Mm. No. So that's really good. It does seem like it has some kind of a bread in there. I don't know how they made it. I don't know what it's made out of. Maybe it's like a protein cookie, like they have, because Quest has protein cookies. So actually, this one's a really good flavor. I liked it. It's not really strong. It's not super sweet. All the textures are really nice and, uh, and even. You don't have like the crumbly chocolate like the first one. And the part that looks like bread has really nice flavor and texture. Before I keep going, I forgot to mention that I got these off of 7-Eleven. So now you can find these if you're rushing and you're trying to find a snack. Uh, know that 7-Eleven has uh, some keto-friendly jerky. Obviously like diets, drinks, zero calorie drinks, you can get that. Uh, pork rinds and now they have a protein bars and cookies. Yeah. All right, so the next one is going to be the cookies and cream This one again 60 grams uh, for one bar. All right, so let's uh, let's check this one out This one has a little bit more subtle smell. You can't really tell just from the smell what it what it's supposed to be cookies and cream It also has some type of white looking uh, chocolate or cookie. It has chocolate chip on here. And so let's, uh, let's crack this one open. The chocolate doesn't break apart like the first one did. You can actually touch it and it's nice and uh, it's kind of a little bit tough, I guess. The texture of the protein bar is similar to the last ones. Remember this one's cookies and cream. And it has a similar taste than the chocolate chip cookie dough. She's saying it doesn't taste like cookies and cream. I agree. And there's a subtle aftertaste. I don't know what the aftertaste is. It's almost like a stevia aftertaste, but it doesn't have stevia, I don't think. It does have a little bit of stevia. It says less than 2%, so maybe that's where that's coming from. But it does have a little bit of an aftertaste. Uh, the flavor, is, like I said, is not a huge difference from the first uh, protein bar, but I prefer the texture of the chocolate on this one. It's a little bit tougher. It doesn't fall apart like the first one. It's not dry. Just by pure texture, I think I'll give this one a four. I'll give the muffin one a Zero. four, just because it does really taste like blueberry muffin. But yeah, the first one, a three, and then the next two, a four. Muffin, zero. All right, so the next flavor is the oatmeal chocolate chip. Remember, the first one was chocolate chip cookie dough. The third one was uh, cookies and cream. This one is the oatmeal chocolate chip. Again, 60 grams uh, per serving, seven grams of fat, 23 grams carbs with 16 fiber, and then 20 grams of protein. So this one has a little bit more carbs, a little bit less protein. It smells like coffee. It doesn't have like a food or a candy or a bar type of smell. It has a very earthy, almost like wood smell. The texture is similar to the last one. Uh, you can't really see the white chocolate that I, that I was talking about. You can see blocks of uh, dark chocolate. And then on the bottom you see what looks like similarly dry chocolate than the first one. Bar is pretty much the same. Yeah, that chocolate is pretty pretty dry like the first one. It just kind of falls apart. It doesn't really taste like oatmeal to me. I don't enjoy the flavor of this one. I mean, just the fact that it's sweet. This one's not my favorite. The texture is similar uh, to all of them, obviously. The chocolate is similar to the first one where it just broke apart. And the flavor is non-existent. It just tastes like, like bark. So, for that reason, this one gets a two out of five. Zero. Ooh, I gotta transfer my palate after that one. Lisa came back and she's eating the cookies and cream and she likes that one. Okay, so the last flavor is s'mores. This is the one that they were looking forward to. And this one, again, 60 grams for the serving, seven grams of fat, 22 grams of carbs, 14 of which is fiber for erythritol and then 21 grams of protein. Pretty close to the same, to the other ones. Right off the bat, you can see it has the same chocolate as the first one and this last one, where it's kind of dry. Come on, okay? It smells a little sweeter, a little nicer. Mm. 
a little bit more perfume-ish. <laughs> One thing that I do want to mention is the color for most of them was pretty close to a light brown, almost like a caramel color. The things inside tend to change, whether it's like the dry chocolate, like this one on the first one, or the dark, darker chocolate, the, the other one, I forget which one had it. For the most part, they look pretty similar. This one, chocolate is breaking up again, really crumbly. So I mean, I'm, if I'm being honest, it's just the fact that that chocolate is breaking apart like that is gonna make me think it's dry, like the first one and the last one. The flavor of the chocolate is a little better. It's a little closer to milk chocolate. Te gusta? There's not much of a difference from the texture. The flavor is pretty close to what that uh, chocolate chip cookie dough was. I don't really feel any kind of marshmallow, uh, you know, Hershey's type of flavor. I don't know if I would call this a s'mores flavor. This flavor could easily be a chocolate chip cookie dough flavor. It has a very distinct aftertaste though. It's not a stevia aftertaste. It's, um, I guess that aftertaste could be marshmallow. It seems close to that, so that might be what that is. Anyways, the marshmallow is not really distinct, so I don't know if I would call it a s'more. But that's it, that's all the five flavors. Uh, I'll give that last one, uh, I'll say a four. So out of the five, there was one that I probably wouldn't buy again. There's a couple that are okay. Uh, there's two that I really enjoyed, but they weren't great. But don't forget that I don't really have a sweet tooth, so I don't enjoy sweets as much as I do salty foods. So that might kind of help you uh, judge on your own. Uh, but that's just how I felt about those. It looks like they enjoyed most of them, except uh, one or two. There were some that they didn't like at all. She didn't like the blueberry. But yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. Uh, I have a bunch of videos coming up, so don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified when those videos come up. Also, if you have any other keto-friendly products that you want me to do a taste test on because you either enjoy them yourself or because you want me to try them before you do, uh, let me know in the comment section below. I really appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.